Hi. This is another first to ten set, this time against Sky and Jeyu. I will probably split this up into two parts because it is quite long. Another practice set before Climax of Night. Fortunately, I never did get to play them in bracket, but it's quite alright. Sky using Unicorn full armor and Jay using Cheridim, although they switched off to different suits during the set. So, Unicorn in this third form, very, very aggressive. So I'm, and when it's, when it comes to trying to be aggressive against me, it's like, okay, now I'm just gonna try to run my, my self-defense sequences a lot more. You can see that trying to run it against Cheridim is a lot harder because Cheridim, Cheridim's like, solution to it is, is much stronger. And there you can see me purposefully canceling sub by boost dashing to try and get the perfect punish timing for it. And I managed to get it. But Cheridim is able to do, you know, the Garrowless GN pistol, the, no, the Vernierless GN pistols, and that's that's very strong, but just by being able to step back and do it, it kind of limits my ability to land the kick as being like uh, only as a landing punish. I stepped there when I could have boosted instead. It's generally better if you're going to cancel out of melee and not do it as a, as a means to like continue the combo or anything. It's better to boost dash than it is to rainbow step because you use, expend more boost that way. Unable to get the cut there. I think I... I don't know if it was... I think it was just Sheridan Funnels. We're kind of split up now, um, which is bad because now Unicorn Full Armor is going to burst and he's got a very fast burst. He's doing 2B, I think. So yeah, very bad time to split up. Oh, it's Cheridim that got the kill. I see. All right, game two. Since this is Unicorn and Cheridim, it's like no surprise that Unicorn Full Armor is going to kind of quickly change to Form 3 as soon as possible because trying to operate that same kind of comp with, you know, like Full Armor Form 2 or Form 3, it's just not going to work with Cheridim because Cheridim really favors a partner like this, you know, a partner that's really getting in there um, and taking all the heat off of him so that he can do his game, his long range sniping game. Though I think the the main problem might be that sometimes it's too fast. And when it's too fast, like, even though the heat's not on you, you don't have the, the gas, you don't have the nitrous to kind of, like, accelerate the game to catch up. Like, you could very easily just be, to be left in the dust. And if that's the case, then it becomes, like, really harder to, to come back from. And that's kind of the fault in it is that if full armor goes in way 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 hard Cheridim isn't able to kind of pick up the pace right he's better at maintaining it but it's not always able to be maintained burst to flip try to do a little bit of a stall sequence just not because just because I don't want to get hit by um, Cheridim, so I'm just like flying around and giving my partner enough time to punish. Land and do 2B. We both, both swing our swords gallantly.
managed to get the down and just just landing the kick alone and my partner following up did nearly 230 damage. It's pretty good. And the kick again. Really just running the same self-defense sequence because it's like he's gonna keep coming after me, but he gets shields just at the right time. And burst and it's like time to go, but uh, thankfully he was in the middle of deploying the shield funnel, so I was able to knock him down, basically use up his burst. So that was good. Managed to maintain the death order, yeah, just let my partner go out and die. But it's it's Cheridum, so I'm like, I'm very hesitant, I'm very, very surprised like that sniper shot didn't get me because, you know, this is like the range, where, this is like the, the point of the game where Cheridum really succeeds. It's like, I'm gonna make your life really hell because I'm gonna stress out every landing that you do but since he's like going at me with with pistols it's like i have to i should be less worried i should be less like oh i gotta i gotta go in and attack like i gotta put on the pressure on him because he's using a sniper like no i should if he's using his pistols on me like that then he can't use the sniper so i should just be a lot more passive with it that's one thing is that i don't play against Sheridan a lot so i can't recognize you know once he's fired off his three sniper shots, and when it's time for me to uh, to uh, let off. So, do two B right as Unicorn is barreling into me. Just kind of trying to play reactively, like boom there. Try to hit him with two B a lot. Might die. I'm getting super, so I feel like a oh. Yep, it's a very long super. Thankfully, double X is able to. Holy Cheridan. Phew! I get really lucky. Another plane coming through. No worries. It's like, oh god. Unicorn's trying to kill me again, and then I get sniped. That's just kind of how this is going to operate. Really bad movement because I just boost directly into a wall. But because Cheridim is just looking at me instead, it's just like, okay, well, Double X is just going to move in on him for free. Like, like right there. Like, uh, looking at the partner, and then the other guy just comes to kill you. So I die first. Not, not, not good news. I'm like, okay. What if I try and just relentlessly bully Cherubim until Unicorn pays attention to me? Well, now it's not going to work because Double X is dead and Full Armor Unicorn is just going to try to kill him, so... Good block. He'll just get the punish anyways because he did an overheat. Pretty much waste time, but it's like I have nowhere... I, I don't know what to do in this situation because he's on the other side of the map. But uh, I was like, I wish that assist landed and he didn't have burst because if that happened, then I would have just gone to go and rescue double X. But I don't think it would have paid off because I was just so far away. It's kind of the point where you have to recognize that you're the target, you're the focus, right? If they're going to try and focus on killing the back, then you gotta make it your focus not to attack, not to harass or anything, just to stay alive. That should just really be my focus going forward in this sort of matchup. It's just recognizing that it's gonna happen and it's like, it's not likely to change. It does change in this set because the character changes as well, so. Managed to get the full combo and to do the right one as well. I did 2B into sub, which is faster, does more damage. But Ju really figured out that you know, Cher with Cheridum being able to do garrulous pistols like that is very strong. I recognize that Unicorn just burst it, so I'm like, I gotta turn around now. Uh, go defensive and do like relentless back steps. <laughs> like, just doing that repeatedly, and, yep, Unicorn is one shot away. 
So now I'm just like, all right, I'm just gonna fly away and be safe. And unicorn out of options. See, like this is this is the part where I'm like, okay, like this is how it's gonna be. Like I'm gonna be right from this, right from the start, right from moment zero. It's like, get him, get him. It's like I shouldn't even be like looking at uh, Cheridim at all, pretty much. But now, now that I'm like, now that it's like sort of retained, it's like, okay, well, see, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta like hope to God that it works out. If I didn't like mess up my movement there, I probably would have been okay and not died first like that. I could have just done AP and probably won because of the massive hitbox, but this is what I mean recognizing that you're the target, you just gotta focus on surviving because otherwise it's just like, dear god, good luck. Could have probably punished Charitum there as well, but I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of like panic mode, so. Like he's not gonna look at me. He's just gonna try to go for uh, the Lux. So I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Thankfully, managed to down Unicorn just as he bursts. Avoid getting punished, which is good. Send that out. Keeping basically the heat off of double X until right now, so he bursts. It's like, okay, hopefully, you know, things go okay. Before we go, you can lose by a prayer, and Charita manages to finish double X off with the pistol shots. Uh, what a tragedy. That's what happens. It's important to recognize what Form Form 1 Unicorn does um, to enter Form 2, because what Form 1 Unicorn can do is it can basically put up this huge wall of explosions and then it can send out two mini nukes. And you want to recognize where he sends those out, like which direction and everything, and be able to account for it, so. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. I switched to E-Burst now because I'm just like, please God, I don't want to keep dying to full armor Unicorn. So I'm like, ah, I'll just hop over my partner and then uh, do this. All right, so he blocks in the corner, which puts him in the, the bad spot. Smartly sends out the funnels and then blocks. Very underrated strategy. So I'm like, all right, I can't, I can't do anything against it because he's got the, the the shield bits up, and it's like I can't deal damage to it. So I should have maybe just done. Like two CSA, two BC a lot of the time, but still managed to get the punish. But now he's coming in, full life burst ready, and my partner is nearly dead. So it's uh, Phantom of the Opera hour right now. Yep. <laughs> Can I do anything to save him? Stopped his first assault. So I mean that's something, and I managed to kick him into the assist, which I thought was pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Burst to save my life. Stop him. No. It won't work. I can't stop him.
So I'm like, okay, I just gotta, I just gotta 2BC away. I just gotta, you know, 2B step, just get away. I will say, like, Unicorn's ability to just, like, go from one, one side of the map to the other, just out of burst, like... Very, very maneuverable suit, I'll say. Does a burst, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Burst out so I can avoid taking any more damage. Hopefully I'll get it. I'll probably get another one at this rate, so we're good on that that end. Shield bits on form two. Probably would have would have saved them until he went form three though. I mean that's whatever. He'll probably have him back in time for in time for Unicorn to go into his assault. Unicorn has to go into his assault because he's at half of his remaining HP. Can't stop him, but combo cut short at around 235. I go down. Really bad timing, but double X has burst. And, uh, oh, just goes for the Hail Mary. Uh, and it hits, and uh, the wide receiver catches it, and uh, it's a touchdown. So it's good. He, good thing he has super armor on that move specifically. it is and it's like they try to do they try to move in with melee and then realize you know their sequence isn't gonna quite reach me so I'm just punish with that I'm like okay all right tried to take a early landing I stepped and I should have just done 8b right there because it probably would have had the same thing all in all he got a really really good burst for bursting at red life like that Sheridan has a nice block there Oof. That was a even better burst from uh, Unicorn. Boom, right there. See, that's what I should just do. Just 8B like that, and just beat out anything that Unicorn Full Armor tries to do to me. That was a quick-ass game. Holy shit. I guess that's what happens when I say. Double Axe and Marisai have a really deadly mash game. Case and point. All right, since this video is around 20 minutes now, I think I'm going to pause the set right here and upload the rest in another video.